Oh, hi there. I'm Lacey Green. I make videos about sex positive stuff. I took a little break from the interwebs and I missed you guys so much. You don't remember me? No, no. I'm orange. All right. Well, fresh start. So I thought I'd jump in today by exploring the age old question. Can men and women be friends? It's just such a complicated question, you know? Like, how am I supposed to be friends with someone who I could potentially bang? Would he hook up with you if you wanted to hook up? Yeah. So he likes you. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is men and women can't be friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. No way. Guys and girls can't just be friends. I feel like can't? they can. No. Men and women can't be friends because the sex part always gets in the way. Hey, street interview people and Billy Crystal. Just gotta tell you that, you know, you're, you're, uh, you're wrong. Through a combination of scientific research and common sense, we know that heterosexual men and women can actually be friends. For realsies. 100% legit, not shitting you. But Lacey, if it's 100% legit, then why do people still think that men and women can't be friends? Well... Once upon a time, like, 200 years ago, men and women really weren't friends. The only context that men and women were permitted to mingle with each other was to date, marriage, but certainly not friendship. It was really looked down upon and kind of taboo. Then around 1890, the feminists were like, why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? The first step was to see friendship between men and women as part of a romantic relationship. Right about this time is where we get the terms boyfriend and girlfriend. Now the idea that you actually have a friendship with the person that you're dating seems totally obvious now, but it actually took between 60 and 70 years for people to accept that. Now we're in the second push, which is to help people understand that non-romantic, non-sexual friendships between men and women are not only okay, they're totally possible. We have this problem where men and women have issues relating to each other, historically. This manifests in a lot of different mediums. So we have all of our books, all of our movies, our TV shows show if men and women are friends, eventually they will end up sleeping together every damn time. Very rarely are we taking in narratives of strong, fulfilling relationships between men and women. And it confirms this idea that we have that, oh, well, I guess, you know, they really can't be friends. And then what do we do? Little Johnny pops out of your vagina, you're playing at the park and he's on the swing set with Jenny and you're like, hey, Little Johnny, is that your little girlfriend? And little Johnny's like, girls are girlfriends. And then surprise, surprise, little Johnny grows up and he leaves stupid ass comments on YouTube about how he can never be friends with little Jenny from the playground. While all this may be true, it doesn't erase the reality that people do really experience barriers in friendships because of sexual attraction. But I think it's high time that people start to acknowledge that sexual attraction doesn't have to destroy or negate a friendship. We're able to sort of cope with and interact with our own sexual desires in more dynamic ways than people like to think we do. I've had lots of experiences with the sex thing coming up in friendships, either from me to them or them to me. And essentially, to deal with it, what I end up doing or what they end up doing is just acknowledging it and then moving on. Oh, I kind of feel like touching you right now. But hey, I don't like fucking need to do that. The problem is that a lot of men are taught that that's part of being a man. And that belief about themselves can actually be a real friendship killer. Legit. There are lots of things that men and women can do to make it easier to have friendships with each other. But it's like a whole other video. So I will be back next week. I am back to posting regular videos. Thank you so much for all of the love and amazing support and everything. Um, yeah, I don't want to get into it right now, but I hope that you all know how much I appreciate every one of you, and um, I'll see you next week. Peace be with you. What?